Hi, this is Dr. Matwani, and we're here to talk about radial keratotomy repair, RK repair. And RK is where you make the slices into the cornea to get a flattening of the central cornea. This is an older procedure done, really popularized in Russia by Fyodorov, um, and was done really through the 80s and early 90s until laser became prevalent. Uh, I understand in some parts of the world it was even done into the 2000s. The problem with RK is that when you do this procedure, you make the markings by hand and you make the slices by hand. So each slice will be slightly different and almost all RKs because of that are very irregular because each slice has a different, each cut has a different effect on the cornea. Uh, and there's no way around it. It's a handmade cut. It's a handmade uh, slit into the cornea. And these leave people with some very, very significant visual distortions. Uh, a lot of patients say it was pretty good at first, and then really over time, as the ability to compensate for this, um, for the, the problems caused by the arcade progresses in life as you age, it becomes harder and harder and harder for patients to really deal with this. Um, and it causes double vision, lots of glare, um, doubling in multiple images. Um, it really causes blurry vision. And a lot of times these patients simply cannot, <clears throat> excuse me, simply cannot get good vision from the vision modalities that they have available to them. Um, what also seems to happen over time is the epithelium, the clear skin layer, on skin layer on top of the cornea compensates and tries to make the irregularity less, but that causes another layer of issues and problems because that changes the shape of the cornea further. So we've actually been treating radio keratotomy, keratotomy patients, RK patients, for a number of years. It's coming up, I guess, on six years now. Uh, and with quite a lot of success. Um, and we've actually made some improvements to the procedure, to the San Diego protocol, which I, which I published uh, some years ago, um, and are really using a patented procedure now, a procedure that I patented and received the patent for about a year ago, um, to actually make an even more uniform cornea. And we're doing this by actually incorporating the epithelial compensation of that aberration, that irregularity, and using that as part of the treatment. Uh, what that means is, is that although we can make the cornea a lot smoother by using topographic guided ablation to actually segmentally re laser reconstruct the cornea, when you actually have the top skin layer compensating and thickening and thinning to actually try to to try to make some of the bumps and the lumps and bumps, the irregularity, less so to sort of fill in like putty or stucco, what you then have is the system cannot actually fully get a picture of all of the irregularity of the cornea. So we have a transepithelial section as part of our treatment that actually treats that to actually remove the aberration or layer that the epithelium is compensating for, and then do the topographic guided treatment. And it's pretty remarkable. Here's a, here's a patient that had a pretty regular cornea. I mean, the thin spot, sorry, the flat spot is all the way here. It's kind of almost like a keyhole. This is their pre-op for their right eye. And this is six days later. That's a completely different shaped cornea from this procedure, and that's six days after the procedure. Um, the other eye is eh, perhaps even more irregular. It has a flat spot all the way up here instead of the center, sort of this irregular shape through here. And this was six days later. They made this round, smooth shape through here, and that's all still with healing epithelium. And so we really found this has become the smoothest, fastest way to actually treat radial keratotomy patients, um, to make that cornea more normal, like a normal cornea that just had regular laser surgery. And what happens is, is that whatever the power of the cornea is, in other words, 
how much flattening did the RK originally do once you make a, a smooth shape, one shape, not a multifocal cornea, once you do that, what's the power? What's the prescription? Is it a plus one? Is it a plus two? What is it? And then about three to four months after the original procedure, we just do a simple power correction so you don't have to wear glasses anymore. We can even incorporate some modified mid vision so you don't have to use reading glasses. Um, and this has been um, a very, very successful procedure for us. And uh, with radiokeratotomy patients, they really are sort of stuck. A lot of them can't wear lenses properly because it doesn't fit properly. A lot of them really have visual issues that are just constant and ongoing. Um, and this is something that can really change their lives because you can really bring vision back to a much, much more normal level, a normal shaped cornea. We have some patients literally say it's the best vision <clears throat> that they've actually ever had in their life. Um, this is a different procedure. There's some doctors just doing regular corrections uh, using PRK um, on the cornea. That is, you know, with the prescription that's gotten by hand, that is not the same thing as this. This is a reconstruction of the shape of the cornea. The reconstruction itself will change the actual correction, the refraction. So the first stage is to get rid of the irregularity and the astigmatism. And then the second stage later is to get rid of whatever prescription is left. But the actual removal of the irregularity changes the actual prescription, usually lessens the farsightedness of hyperopia quite a bit, gets rid of the astigmatism for the most part. So this is Dr. Matwani. If you'd like to know more, uh, my website is there, drmatwani.com, www.drmatwani.com. Again, this is a procedure we have now patented. So this is something that is pretty unique. Um, and if you'd like to know more, you can take a look at our website. Thanks, and uh, we are here in beautiful San Diego, California.